this this was always this was always where I wanted to be, and it's you know I think a lot of guys still dream of coming here, but um, you know a lot of guys dream to go to NASCAR too, and th there's there's easier avenues from USAC to to NASCAR right now, and. I hope that's something that would change. Um, you know, Brian Cawson got a chance here last year and did a good job, and and you know he was out there for this year, and a lot of people wanted us to put him in the second car, but it just it just wasn't the right time. But I would certainly like to see see more guys from USAC and where I came from here doing it because you know it's great preparation and, and it's great racing and great drivers. But I don't know I don't know what that answer is. You know, I think I think we'd have to start with more of them actually really wanting to do it and chasing it. Ed, what goes through your mind on that fourth lap when you're seeing Will losing speed and you can see the trend that everyone else has been following? What I, I kind of knew on the first lap that we were going to happen, to be honest. You know, after seeing what Elio and AJ had done, um, I figured he would fall off too much to, to maintain the average that we had. But, you know, you never know. You know, Penske's pulled out so many poles at this place that, that you can't count them out. But I, after I saw Elio do his run and and fall off the way he fell off, I, I felt like we were going to be in pretty good shape and just really proud of the, the guys on the team for making the right call. How far back does your memory of this place go? What, what, do, you, what do you first remember about it? Did you ever allow yourself to dream of a moment like this? Um, you know, I've, I've been in positions to qualify in the top ten, but this was, this was my first year that where we had a chance at pole, and I, and I thought and really believed we had a chance at pole. So... We were aggressive all day long and a little too aggressive in the first round, but to answer the first part of your question, I remember watching Rick Mears qualify here in 91 from the turn two suites, and that's, that's my first memory of, of qualifying qualifications here. Um, but but I, I told the guys before, before our first segment today and before the shootout that you know I would, I'd be much more mad if we went conservative and, and didn't take a shot at it than if we, you know, took a big shot at it and, and missed. So um, they made the right calls. I'm really proud of them. Other questions for Ed? Ed, uh, the fact that this place means so much to you might not mean anything when you're running that, you know, repeat run. But now that it's over and you've got it, uh, do you let it sink in tonight maybe? Uh, a little bit, but, you know, I love the race a whole lot more than qualifying, and, and I really, I really want to send the message and, and make sure I lead by example to the team and make sure we don't forget why we're really here. You know, th this is fun, and, and it's huge for our team. I don't want to think it, that it's not, but, um, you know, it, the poll won't mean much if, if we don't go out and perform on race day. So, you know, I love it here. I love racing here. I, lo I love going fast here. You know, it's cool to see, it, see the speeds climbing again. Um, but, but this this track and race means a lot to the other 32 guys that are going to start the race too so um i don't think it's just special to me uh, talking about just just how special it is uh how much do you enjoy that the fans really embrace you as the local guy you know they're the one they say who wants to see ed carpenter get the pole and everybody goes nuts you're you're the guy that they kind of get behind and root for it's a lot of fun you know i i I've lived here since I was eight years old, went to school at Butler University and, and probably will never leave. And, uh, you know, it, it gives you confidence knowing that, that people are behind you. And, you know, I've got blessed to have a great family. A lot of them are here. Unfortunately, my, my parents and sister are up in South Bend because Lauren graduates from Notre Dame tomorrow, which, which is awesome. So it's a, it's a big weekend for our whole family. The questions for Ed? Don't be shy. You good? And I got to tell you, my phone has blown up. <laughs> my battery's probably people, dead. A <laughs> lot of people know you are just uh, texting in, so congratulations. Well, thank you. Thanks. Thanks, guys.